I told you something when you did your birthday, huh? Uh -huh. I wasn't around. I told you I got a little gift for you, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the gift. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Good day guys and welcome back to my channel. So Destiny Etiko has bought a mom a brand new car. Yes, a birthday gift. Wow. This one an example of which the talk say you will reap the fruits of your labor and already she's reaping it. Of course she has been giving her mom some gifts, some packages, the one that we are not even seeing. But this one, you know, birthday package now, she just say makes you surprise her mom. Even the way she did it safe, they were just closing her mom's eyes. <laughs> of course now, you will know that um, she wants to surprise her. And the mom, she will know that she wants to be surprised. So, a very big congratulations to Destiny Etiko's mom for adding another year to her life. It's not easy when you wake up every morning to see the light of the day. Just thank God, thank Baba God, say, for the fact that you are alive, it means that God has something for you there's still something is he wants you to do so and that is the gist of um, destiny ethical bringing and uh, gifting a mom a birthday gift we actually don't know how old her mom is but all we know is that we know that she i think she could not pass um 60. so and she captioned it in, on her page she wrote my mom's birthday gift arrived late but I'm excited. She is extremely happy. Enjoy your ride, mom. Love you plenty. She can't put emoji sign. Love emoji. Let's say, you see, when you see a daughter's love for mom, you will not say truly, truly. The mom really, really tried for them. And so many comments, so many congratulations from our fans, even from our colleagues in the Nollywood industry also congratulated our mom. It's not easy to see the lights of um, another day, not to even talk of adding another year, 365 days. All right, guys. So you remember um, Cynthia Okereke and um, Clemson Connell who were both kidnapped after shooting a movie in Enugu State. Now, Destiny Tiku also is among those Nollywood actors and actors who reacted to the kidnapping and she came out and said ah, ah what type of huge ransom is this uh, are these people demanding how can you demand for 100 uh, 100 million naira yeah i mean hundred thousand dollars yeah because if it's almost 100 million yes because now the rate is seven tenths so if you have to um, calculate it you'll be having like 71 million naira for goodness sake what on earth do they want to use this money to do the and the most painful part of it is that they will use this money and go and be buying arms and ammunition they will be buying weapons to equip themselves for the next and um, the next operation which is so crazy man which is so crazy and this is why we are having issue in the country i mean the the uh, security operative the army they they are getting scared of these people because the sophisticated weapon that these people are carrying hmm, you know, na no go area. So that is why all of this thing is happening. So according to um Destiny Etiko now, she reported that the kidnapper are demanding too much money. Now what type of demand is this? How much do they have? You know, guys, it's not really really funny at all. It's not really really funny because these people we don't even know if they are still alive, but we pray that they will be released. As it is now, we don't even know if this is just a setup. We don't even know the identity of these people. So the way um, Destiny Etiko reacted on her page, she wrote 100 million naira for what? In this hardship, do you people think we have that kind of money? Hmm. And that was what she wrote. To. <laughs> so you people who are always thinking that these people, they have, you know, they are billionaires and all of that. You don't get to judge a woman by a hairstyle. You don't get to judge a book by its cover because all these things that you people are seeing on social media, you are seeing on Instagram, you are seeing on Facebook, you are seeing on other social media and, and applications, all these things are just fake life. In the real life, the real life is there. The real life is that they are also facing some 
challenges it may not be financial you know they, they have people to set to they have workers to pay they have families to take care of they have bills to uh, to set to as well and sometimes you know their relationship also you know i can tell if these people sometimes may just be seeing um them flaunting their boyfriend or girlfriend you know their fiance or fiance but you really don't know what is really going on let me not start to mention but of course you know some of the celebrities whose marriage has um gotten k leg now all right and then um, guys this um uh, this development is said to throw many community into um chaos and then um, they are just so not happy about the whole development meanwhile the we had that the president of the actors guide of nigeria Amy carol has, has confirmed that um they've started you know they've established with the families and they are also making arrangements in working with the security agencies meanwhile they're also trying to gather some fundraising and all of that so but we don't really know what if they are really going to um, meet this target because we don't know if these people are going to accept uh, any money given to them if it's not up to that amount that they are looking at so and then uh, some people are saying that um, it, this is a play something I mean that's how did they how is it that they are the one they kidnap that is as if they are uh, they really play the stuff they really arrange the stuff why is it that it's after they finish shooting the movie that they were not kidnapped but you know I can tell these people they are everywhere and it can happen to anybody this is something that whether it is real whether it is fake or we don't joke with people's life because how many days now we've not seen and uh, we've not even heard from them you know we've not we don't know if they are even feeling well and if they are being taken care of but you know if you are under kidnappers then i don't think you'll be taken care of you'll be treated like a shit. so guys um this is the gist i have for you guys you know destiny tico buying gifting a mom a brand new car on her birthday you know at least let us see and continue to, to reap the fruit of her labor and then also destiny's reaction to as a matter of fact it's not only destiny that reacted to this um nollywood actors um, that were kidnapped other people too are reacting to it other nollywood actors and actors are reacting to it but i'm very very sure that hmm, see this nollywood eh they may not even contribute even if they will contribute self i don't think it will reach up to 20 million naira. what do you guys think let me know your opinion at the comment section because why i'm saying this is that many at times we we used to get reports of nollywood getting sick um, and they will end up dying but when they were sick were they being looked after no they were not being looked after we get to know them more when they are gone we get to know their condition you know when they are gone and right now there are many of them who are even sick who are not feeling too strong but they will not come out now and tell us but it is when this person is gone and you just see one of their colleagues coming out to say oh you were you fought hard you did this and that we had plans to go and shoot in this social location but you just left us just like that is this how you are going to leave me so but we just keep hoping that things are going to get better in the Nollywood because these are people who are entertaining us, who are entertaining you and I. So I just pray that these people, um, God, we we not harden the heart of these kidnappers so that they can release them and so that they can come back to their family. Because matter of fact, these people, if anything happens to them, ah, uh, if anything happens to them, it's not going to be funny because these people they are public figure. These people are people that are always that are appearing on TV, whom everybody knows. You know, and imagine far be it, not, nothing is going to happen to them. Let me not even mention. So, guys, this is where I'm going to draw the curtain of this gist. Hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please kindly give your guy a thumbs up, support me, like this video. It won't cost you anything. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel and most importantly, turn your bell icon so you get notified anytime I drop new video like this. And until next video, <laughs> bye for now. Amen. Amen. From January to December,
Mama, my salon, go cafe. Drama woman. What did you do? 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 What Amen. The blood and water that gush out from the stripe of Jesus Christ will cover her. Amen. When she's coming down, <laughs> the blood and water that gush out from the stripe of Jesus Christ will cover her. Amen. No evil will ever be for her in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't mama forgot the mother. Amen. Yes, so enter your car, baby. Hey. Yeah. Yo, it's so 